Hey everyone, I have another update on the PlayStation Core with a Mr. FPGA. This is about the core adding analog output over the IO board. While analog output was possible before over the HDMI port using direct video, having analog output over the IO board gives you the added benefit of being able to output over both analog and HDMI. Realize that this is an unstable build of the PlayStation Core from December 11th. Things change all the time, but I just wanted to showcase my experience using analog video output over the IO board. I'll say right now that most games have issues with analog output, but I know that this is an unstable build for a core that's not ready yet, so I'm not expecting things to be perfect. So in this video, I'm going to show you some games that work well using analog output on the IO board and then show you the issues I get with other games. Right now, I'm playing Crash Bandicoot and it's looking pretty good. However, there is some artifacting at the bottom of the screen. You can also see that the image is shifted to the right, so there's a black border on the left hand side of the screen. HDMI output is still fine and I do not experience these issues on any other cord with analog output. But even with these issues, I'm pleased with the results I'm getting so far. Here's another game that works well for me over analog. It's Spiral the Dragon and it also looks really good. Again, the image is shifted to the right, but all PlayStation games are exhibiting this for me over analog. That shifting is not present over HDMI, just over analog video output. This is one of those early 3D games that still hold up graphically today. The cartoon style of the graphics means that you don't expect the game to look realistic. So as long as you have a good art direction, the graphic style can be timeless. And like I said, things are looking really good with this game. I'm impressed with how the game looks on my CRT and how the controls are handling. Finally, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 was the third game that worked well over analog. There was a minor hiccup at the beginning when playing a video, but things worked well afterwards. If it wasn't for the image being shifted to the right and also there being no sound, I would actually believe that I'm playing on a real PlayStation. It just feels right to play on a CRT. Ignore my bad playing. I was just testing things and I really didn't concentrate on playing well. Not that I would do much better if I did. It's good to see these games with different graphical styles over analog. Spyro and Crash do have a similar cartoony look with Spyro giving a more bright and colorful style. But Tony Hawk goes for a more darker and grungier look. They all still look great over a CRT and it's nice to see what the future of the core has to offer. I couldn't get other games to work well over analog output, so let me show you the issues I've encountered with them. I actually thought that all games were going to experience these issues, but I kept testing and eventually found some games that worked well. First, let me tell you that most games can exhibit this garbled screen when switching scenes. I'm hoping this doesn't do any damage to my screen. Any CRT experts can tell me if this can cause issues? Here you can see that Tekken 3 is working, but the colors are all off. They skew severely on the green side, too much so that I don't even want to play games this way. I'm assuming the issues I get from these games might have to do with the video mode that the PlayStation is setting. That is just an assumption with the little time that I tested analog output. Here is Ridge Racer. It showcases another issue I get often. On the loading minigame, I get a slow rolling screen and the colors are also incorrect. The rolling screen happens in a lot of games. After the loading, the rolling no longer occurs but the colors are still incorrect. I'll say it again, that the colors are just fine over HDMI. I also have this outputting over HDMI and there is no rolling image and the colors are just fine. And back with analog, when I go into a race, the image doesn't roll for a while but then it eventually starts rolling. Finally, here's Destruction Derby. Like the other games that don't output correctly, I get the same incorrect colors and on some scenes there is a rolling image. So I'm happy to see that analog output over the IO board is being worked on. Of course, there's still tweaks to be made, but I prefer the developer to concentrate on getting the core to work accurately first and then implement analog output correctly. So the analog issues I'm getting now don't bother me at all. 
One thing to know is that analog out over the I.O. board might be affected when sound is implemented. Adding sound might require the use of a second SDRAM module, which will require the I.O. board to be removed. Let's hope that won't be the case. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.